The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a quick look here at the German DAX, as you can see here by the chart. We've had some pretty good volatility, uh, sort of uh, leaning towards the downside a little bit, much like we're looking at with the S&P. But we have a flash news alert from Mr. Z, and that is to take a look at the red metal. The copper is looking like it's going to be very, very interesting. By the way, the Gartley Luck, eight pounds, two ounces, born at 2.22 in the morning, arrived on time. And if you believe the name and the time, you're full of baloney like me, but he does weigh eight pounds, two ounces, the name to be determined on whether the uh, crude oil turns up today and whether the bonds continue to go down and the gold continues to go down. But that is uh, from being up all night. But uh, he was almost delivered at home, folks. Uh, she was in labor 45 minutes. Uh, that's what they tell us. Anyway, let's move on to uh, the copper. Let's, I haven't looked at this, but Mr. Z's given us the alert and we really respect that young man. So let's get up here and take a look at this red metal and we'll see what we've got going in here hg hold on this g copper starts with a g and it hg i never could figure that one out let's take a look at this mr z and we'll be uh taking a look at this uh mr z i uh wow i must not be seeing something right because i see the price but i don't uh wow i'm uh i'm off the page here Buddy, I, I don't see that. Uh, let me uh, let me give me a big 10-4 on this. Hold on one second, because when I don't agree with you, there's big problems. Um, I'm showing a price at 260. I'm seeing a pullback, but I don't see, uh, you know, yeah, it's in a buy zone, but I, I must be seeing something wrong, uh, uh, John. I, I like the trade because of the of the pullback, but let me let you share it with you folks. Yeah, I, I'm looking at it, but I don't trade it that often. You'll notice we made the low here just the other day. Uh, that was on the 7th, and we rallied up to 270. We pulled back to a 61% retracement today, 264. Uh, that was a good place to buy it. That was right at the, ah, I see it. I see it. Ah, Eureka, Eureka, as Archimedes would say as he was taking his bath. Hold on, take a look here. I can see that three drive now just as clear as God made little green apples. I'm under a great deal of pressure here today, folks. Let's just get up this. That's exactly, yeah, there you go. That's what he's looking at. You can see the 78% retracement. You had to three drive to a bottom pattern, the rally up, the pullback. Boy, your, low, your risk on this is uh, you're, you're home free on this one. I'd put your stop at break even and let it rip because if it holds, it's going to be a, a really nice one you know, to take a look at. But we've got a couple others that look really interesting today, folks. Um, you know, we talked about crude oil this week. Last night uh, in the crude, we had a really nice pullback. It stopped briefly. Let's get this up here. We'd stop. Oh, shut the front door. Razor it. It stopped briefly at the 61% retracement, went down and kissed the 78% retracement, and turned screaming up. So that's a really nice Gartley in that one. But the most important one, I think, this morning that we're looking at, given all the things that uh, that are going on, and I will get this up here. Well, there's a lot of things that are important going on, but the most important, I believe, is this one right here. So bear with me. This happens to be the uh, Treasury bond market. I want to get this up. If you folks believe in the old FIB numbers, uh, the high today during that good news at 154.05 was an exact 61% retracement of the high we made back at 155.02. Uh, we've broken 600 bucks from that level already, and uh, anything above that level today would say we're going to go higher, but right now it appears uh, to be going lower. We had another one this morning, very, very interesting, and that was in the gold market. Uh, we had a really nice rally last night in the gold. 
Uh, it went from uh, 1324 up to 1341. Those of you that are in good in mathematics, if you subtract 1341 from 1324, you get $17 an ounce, which is the harmonic number, half harmonic number in gold. And it was a spot on to the tick, 61% retracement off of the high that we made at 1352. So those are the ones that are setting up. Folks, we have a really good guest today, as always, Arch Crawford from Crawford Perspectives will be our guest. Tim Bost will be our guest tomorrow out of Florida. And on Friday, the 14th, we are going to have a super mystery guest out of Florida also. And he will be, um, his name will be unknown until right before the time. You don't want to miss it, but uh, he's quite famous. Now, yes, Samuel Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford will be our guest. And he's going to talk to us about a potential war that he sees in the astrological cards. And um, I'm going to, well, let's just move on to something else here that we need to cover here before we get too far along with this stuff. Let's take a quick look at where we are in the stock market. If you remember yesterday, we, we posted this chart to you, which was the S&P 500 going up, taking out previous day's high by a couple of points, stopping exactly at the 78% retracement, 29.11. We're now 30 handles under that price, and I believe we're made of some type of a pretty significant top in here. Whether that top will take out the June lows or not, I don't believe it will. But um, I just like to see what the first correction is going to be. And so far, we're down 30 points. I really don't know. We have to do one thing at a time. We're only we're halfway through the week. This is Wednesday, so anything could happen, and uh, usually does. Remember, we have that full moon will be coming in here on uh, Monday. So that'll be a, a very interesting. That's on the 17th of uh, 17th of June. So we want to watch that one very, very closely. Uh, regarding the platinum, folks, I don't know whether platinum is going to go high or not. It's just not bouncing very much. But, you know, we'll just do just do one thing at a time as we see it. Let's look at this gold, though, because uh, we had this rally. Uh, this is what we were looking at. Uh, we, we stopped well, it missed it by a dollar ten on the downside of hitting the exact price, and then we rallied all the way up to thirteen forty one, which was the sixty one percent retracement. We're now trading a little below that thirteen thirty five, and I think if that sets up the ABCD that we're looking at, and if it does do that, that'll take us right down to thirteen twelve, which is uh, right at the fifty percent retracement. If it does that, but we don't know. I mean, we're just waiting for these patterns to unfold. I. <laughs> I had two emails last night from uh, some folks, and uh, they asked me, you know, why don't I know more than I do? <laughs> well, the actual question was, what's going to happen next? And I don't know. I watched a, a short period of a webinar from a young man out of New Jersey yesterday, an Elliott Wave person, and he basically went through the S&P for the next six months where every swing was going to be by looking at Elliott Wave. Uh, well, I, I hope him the best, but, uh, you know, <laughs> that's what I do. I hope in the best. We'll have to wait and see. We're having some really serious uh, uh, divergences, folks. We'll be talk about these divergences when we get back. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey folks, tonight Basil Chapman's going to do uh, his 90-minute webinar, and you, you really don't want to miss it if you're interested in the stock and the stock market. No one's any better at looking at this stuff longer term than Basil. You know, he's got a great deal of experience. He makes it incredibly interesting. He he brings in other things, you know, like architecture and other things that make markets do the way they work. But I mean, it's always very interesting, and you see some stuff that you won't see anyplace else. So try to get into that today. Go to www.tfnn and lock up or Basil's. I believe it's at starts at five o'clock tonight. And it's really, uh, he's really, really good, folks. And not only that, he's a super nice guy. Um, I met uh, Basil when I went to uh, MIT and Harvard. I don't know if you folks know that, but I went to both MIT and Harvard. I went to MIT for lunch, and I went to Harvard for dinner. That's a little joke that I just made up. Anyway, that's due to lack of sleep, boys and girls. That's due to lack of sleep. All right, let's move on. Uh, Let's move on to uh, just the next thing we want to talk about. We'll have Arch Crawford on uh, in about 20 minutes, which will be good. I want to talk just a, a tad here about the uh, the uh, the FTSE market. Uh, you'll notice here that we've had a really strong rally here in June, starting exactly where we were with the U.S. Notice how these patterns were very, very similar. Beautiful three-drive pattern. You know, beautiful 1.27. Look, look at that, folks. I mean, you know, <laughs> you don't have – to be an Elliott wave guy to look at that. I mean, that that that's really simple. You can see that's a three five zigzag subwave five over a three five eight. It's very easy. You know, that's uh, really uh, pretty pretty good to look at that. You know, plus you've got the uh, oscillating oscillator of the 200 uh, 246 second uh, eight day moving oscillator working. So anyway, that's just that. But anyway, we reached some pretty pretty strong level levels up there. And uh, we'll see if uh, if it's going to continue on, and uh, we'll see what's going to be, if it works or not. Anyway, let's move on to uh, take a look at uh, one other thing that the folks have asked me about here, uh, and that is, uh, hold on just a second so I can get it up. And this is uh, very unusual because this is a, I want to talk to you just a little bit about the cross rates. This is a cross rate that someone uh, has has a position in. Uh, this is the British pound versus the Canadian dollar. This is the long-term weekly cross, as you can see here. It's been in a downtrend since 2016. You can see the first Gartley 
coming in at the high in March. A, B, C, D, the two ratios spot on 1.27, 78%. We come down, the next two ratios spot on 1.414, 0.618. Now, the difference between 1.414 and 1.27 is very, very small, but it is a, you know, a ratio, and you see the reciprocal of that down there, so that's why it's very important. But what we want to do is we want to move uh, just to a little bit uh, smaller time frame with this so that we can see, you know, where we are. And here, here we're going to bring this up. There's two reasons. I have to bring it up because it's, uh, it's a very important uh, uh, story that I have behind this, but let's get this up here. Here is the, uh, the shorter term version. You can see we are spot on at that 78% level. It's got to hold that 78 or it's no good. So the risk on that is extremely small. That's the the whole key to uh, remembering that that's, uh, that that's what you want to do is to watch that uh, and watch it very, very closely too, because it's uh, it's really important. I have a great story here folks. You're going to like that. Those of you that like uh, Ben Stein, uh, his father was Herb Stein, the great economist. And uh, Ben is an actor and writer and, you know, everybody knows who he is. But uh, I happen to know him and I was on a, uh, a Forex show uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada, back in uh, early, well, late June of uh, 2001. And uh, I was on a panel. Again, there were three of us on a panel against uh, uh, Herb Stein, three against one. And believe me, folks, you, he is one of the smartest people. Uh, I, I didn't even come close to any of the answers. I mean, it was really embarrassing. But the prize was $50,000. But the, the, the kickoff was Larry had to trade it. And uh, my goal was to make $50,000. So he would donate it to the ACCPA, the thing about the animals. And so here I am right there. This is a weekly chart. And there I am looking at the British pound. And uh, he, he, was, he really had an affinity to the British pound. So I happened to look at this pattern. And during the during the, one of the breaks after the show, I, uh, I said, here, this is what we're going to do. I, they put a $50,000 account up. And uh, I was the authorized trader. I immediately bought 10 contracts of the uh, British pound. And I bought them on the CME. And uh, when they got up to, to $50,000, which is four months later, they cashed it out. And um, he was happy. The Forex Bank was happy. What I didn't realize is when I put the order in at the Forex Bank, the Forex Bank, uh, they, did some, they did some serious buying. And uh, they made a, a great deal of money off of it, which uh, they were very happy about. But Ben is just a really nice guy. But my goodness, is he smart. And uh, I've, I've met him a few times after that. We've all had a good laugh from it, but he's a super nice guy. If you ever see me in an airport or something, say hello to him. He has uh, zero ego, and uh, he really respected his father, who was a great, uh, great economist, Herb Stein, under uh, President Nixon. But uh, really super nice guy. He was the guy at Forrest Bueller. I believe he was the, was he the principal in uh, Forrest Bueller? I think it was. I'm not even sure. Um, I'm not exactly to see what's going on. We'll have to wait and see if uh, if those really happen. Okay, the um, yeah, I do I really do I love movies, folks. I I've been I've always loved movies, even when I was a kid, and I used to go to watch uh, Lash Larue and uh, uh, what was the other Lash Larue and Hopalong Cassidy and uh, Roy Rogers at the old. Uh, Wabash Theater there in Clinton, Indiana. I used to go in with my cousin and I. My grandma would give us a quarter every Saturday, and we could go and spend the whole day there for a quarter, and that was including the popcorn, the soft drink, and getting in. And I still remember that uh, to this day. And then, of course, we would come home for the movies and sit there, and she would give us a lecture on trading for the next three hours, which I also appreciated uh, uh, quite a bit. Folks, I'm going to talk just a second here about the uh, – uh, about these these uh, inflation numbers that we get, that is such baloney. You know, back in back when 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 Carter appointed Bill uh, uh, Paul Volcker as the thing, they started changing these numbers. First thing they did was they threw out food and energy out of the out of the CPI index to make it look better. I mean, hello, food and energy? Are you kidding me? And all they do is manipulate these things. You know, that that that's just, when you see the statistics like that, give me a break. You know, it's inflation 1% than what it was like. Do you ever go to a supermarket, for God's sake? I mean, give me a break. I mean, I mean, I'm 
It's like looking at negative interest rates, for heaven's sakes. I don't understand that one either. But I'm going to get off my soapbox in about 30 seconds because we're going to have Samuel Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford as our guest, and that's what we're going to look at. Yeah, inflation 1974. You flat got that right. I remember when they used to have the uh, lines for boycotting cattle when they was trading at 80 cents a pound. Now at a buck 20, and nobody says anything. We were up the limit yesterday in uh, uh, cattle, so that was a pretty big move. But the big news was the corn. I'll try to cover that uh, after we get finished with our friend Arch. And we'll be able to take a look at that later. But stay tuned for Arch Crawford out of Tucson, Arizona. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we are back, and we have Arch Crawford from Crawford Perspectives from Arizona. Sam, have you caught any illegal aliens today? Uh, no, I haven't, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of them around, uh, just no place to put them. That's for sure. Sam, you wrote a letter uh, for your Please monthly call letter. Please this... on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, your letter this uh, for June has scared some people. Uh, I've uh, noticed it, you know, uh, 
that some people have asked me about it, and so that's one of the reasons why I like to have you on. But yeah, you're talking about the WAR, about war. You want to tell the folks what you're – what the history behind this is and what you're looking at, because I really respect the work that you do, because some of your calls have been absolutely breathtaking. So tell us what you're looking at here, buddy. Okay, well, the, the headline is June equals hostilities, terrorism, and outright war. This is a world condition, and as such, it's harder to determine who will and who will not be affected seriously. It does touch our president's chart which increases his, his horoscope, which increases the likelihood of U.S. involvement. Neptune is highlighted, and there may be religious elements to certain areas of this turbulence, and perhaps drug connections as well to others. These effects will likely take hold in the latter half of this month. This is not a joke. We have previously predicted the date of the Challenger explosion the Chernobyl incident, the Kobe earthquake, Saddam Hussein's unexpected attack on Kuwait, Diana's death, and uh, 9-11. On that last, we said the U.S. will be at war around the weekend of the 7th or 8th of September, 2001. Uh, and we were three days off on that one. The FBI called me from Phoenix on that one. They lost interest when it turned out to be astrology-related. <laughs> The yeah. Chernobyl mention was also off by two or three days. All others were exact to the day. Wow. Those are those are really spectacular. I, I remember some of them, Sam. I didn't remember all of them, but when you tell me, I do remember that you, some of them very, very vividly. But uh, the FBI, actually, they once you told them that it was astrological, they didn't want to, uh, uh, you know, do anything? Right. Is that... Wow. Did they put you on some kind of watch list or anything? I have no idea. They didn't tell me if they did. Mm. <laughs> I Son doubt it. Gun. Holy cow, that's uh that's that's really amazing. Anyway, Sam, tell me what what who do who it will be against? Do you have any idea? Do your charts tell you who it could be? Could it be Venezuela, Russia, Iran? I mean who could it be? Um I have not looked at the what is it the the thing that whether you look at what where the act, exact things were exactly over a part of the sky. I should have looked that up before this interview, but I I have not. So uh, it might be harder to tell. But you know whatever is is getting there, there are several hot spots that are staying fairly oh, yeah. active. Yeah. And I, as I say, I wouldn't be surprised if it involved the U.S. So. Sam, the one the one I remember the most vividly uh, was the one for, well the the 2001 of course was the most vivid because you and I were on the line when those planes hit, but uh, the um, uh, the one with Princess Di that was August 31st. I remember that was uh, a really uh, important day astrological. I I think it was Mercury conjunct the Sun or something like that. And you had made a really vivid prediction about that. And uh, it really came pretty much spot on. So I don't know where these numbers come from. but uh, well, What I said about the Diana's death thing, it was a solar eclipse, and it was involving two or three other planets. And I looked them up in a book that had the Uranian planets in it, and it said, Tragic Love. And that's what <laughs> I put in the newsletter for that date. Wow. And, of course, she's she died on that day, and with her lover, and possibly with an unborn child. Really? Well, the, the conspiracy theory is that uh, she was having a child by an Arab, Tell and, us and the, the British royal family didn't want an Arab in their line. Okay, well, sometimes you don't you not what you get, you uh, the most what the most dangerous thing you fear is what you're going to get or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway. Arch, what's your We have two questions uh, from one of our listeners this morning. One is about the gold market. What's your feeling on gold for the next uh, uh, two or three weeks, two or three months? From the latest newsletter, June 3rd. I uh, just completed the astro analysis for June and capital letters. This could be the big one. Add to whatever positions you have now. 
Okay. And so it's of moved course, up. it went up quite a bit last eight eight point one three percent last week. And what's your feeling on the stock market? Um, I think we're in a long-term top pattern, which is called a broadening pattern or a megaphone. And that has some time yet to go to complete. Um, also, every crash that has occurred uh, in the last 115 years has occurred in the same portion of the Mars Uranus cycle, and we don't get back into that until late November. Mm -hmm. So whatever happens, I, I actually think we will have a higher high, yet still around Labor Day, um, early September, plus or minus a couple of weeks. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, Sam, we've got one other question from someone that says you could really help me here because people ask me about this all the time, and it's about the, uh, the, the interest rate situation with negative interest rates. Is there anything on the astrological front that says that this could be a, a viable event? I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me where you'd pay someone to hold your money, but, you know, what do I know? But anything that you can tell us about negative interest rates? Uh, I can say that... Um some of the smart people have been following more closely. Like worldwide, we have like, I think, close to $3 trillion at negative interest rates today, currently. Wow. wow. And this is unprecedented that in, a, in the 6,000 years that we have history of uh, uh, gold and, and money, other forms of money, um, there's never been a negative interest rate. But I think it's because people are afraid and they want to make sure that the money, like, <laughs> oh, what was his name from the 30s said, uh, it's the return of the money, not the return yeah. on the money. Yeah. yeah, Bernard Baruch, he was the one that said that, that's for sure. No, it was well, the I... comedian. It was the comedian. Mm -hmm. Oh, Will Rogers. Will Rogers, they asked. Yeah, they actually yeah. asked him to run for president, and he declined. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Hey, listen, buddy, I want to thank you for being on our show today because we really like to hear what you're saying, and your predictions have been just amazing. Thanks, folks. Arch Crawford of Crawford Great. Perspectives. Thanks again, buddy. We'll talk to you later. Very good. Bye bye. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South 
African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, uh, I posted a chart for December corn. That's the new crop corn. Uh, if you'll notice, we've been watching for a potential buy down there at 420 uh, in the uh, corn. We've not gotten there yet. Uh, whether we will or not remains to be seen. We're trading around 448. Yesterday was a big day, folks, because we were trading at 428, and the crop report the conditions came out, and it was literally shocking. I mean, even people that haven't been in the business uh, uh, for have been in Brown for a long time, i.e., uh, Rich Anderson and Simon only, uh, they were shocked at the fact that the the crop had been dropped so much. Uh, they're looking at 166 uh, an acre now in corn. Boy, that is that's really way down. That's that's major stuff. Any any problem from here, you're going to see corn at a great much, much higher prices. But here this morning, we're still 20 cents higher. We've not taken out the highs of two weeks ago. And my question is, why? So oh, we'll just see whether it gets out above that level or not. But right now, we still went up to that 78% level at 450 and held so far, but it's still real early. But the reports are extremely bullish. Now, I bring to your attention the fact that we've been looking at the hog market uh, you know, looking at this uh, African swine flu or whatever it is that they, is Asian or I don't remember what it is, but this swine flu they're having over in China and, you know, hogs rallied, uh, you know, 18 cents uh, a pound and gave, uh, you know, 78% of that back. So even though the news can be really bullish, you know, trade what you see, not what you think. That's all I can tell you. Remember, trading is a journey. It's not a destination. Marshall's saying, is it a sell Gartley and corn? No, uh, Marshall, it is not. Uh, the reason why is we really don't have any ABCD structure uh, in there that we can actually see. And uh, that's that's the main reason. But there is no Gartley there at all. Now, the corn and the soybeans and the wheat markets were unaffected by the, by the corn report. They didn't have any sympathetic move or anything like that, so that's setting there. Now, the the question about the Chinese tariffs, uh, folks, I don't know about these tariffs. I mean, there's so much news going on. It, they probably don't mean anything longer term. You know, you hear all kind of stuff, but again, shucks, I don't know what uh, you know what to make of it. I'll just look at the charts, and if it gives you a pretty good chance, you know, to do something, then that's uh, that's what you're looking at. So I, I don't know any other than the charts, folks. I I know I, I uh, and I'm, hey, I'm not telling you that I do because I don't. I really don't watch the fundamentals. I mean, Rich will send me some stuff and Cy will send me some stuff and a few other people that I know that, you know, maybe may make a, an assessment on it, but, but I just look at it. And when I look at all this bully stuff that's going on in corn, hell, it should be going up, should be going up the limit two or three days, I would think. And it's not doing that. Uh, you know, so it's, uh, it's very interesting to see what's uh, see what's going on. So we'll just keep an eye on it, see what's going on, because they have a lot of jumping around to do. By the way, um, if you take a look at these uh, that that gold chart one more time, folks, 
there's always a possibility that that high we made back in the gold where we made that double top up there at that 1354 uh, could be a major top uh, and that's that's the real uh, that's the real key there because you know we did that at, if you remember we did the same thing at 1376 and we dropped 110 dollars we went all the way down to 1267 so uh, this is by far not a valid breakout by any stretch of the imagination. Now, what's good about the, 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 the market action today coming off of the bottom in gold from 13.24 up $17 to the 13.41 level, that sets up a beautiful ABCD structure uh, down to 13.10. And 13.10, you got to put your dancing shoes on there because that's going to be a really nice Gartley. Uh, and that's going to be, you know, really, uh, really good one to look at. So uh, if we get there, that'll be a really nice ABCD pattern. Heck, we might get there today, but I doubt it. But that'd be great to see it happen, you know, early next week when we have that new moon coming in, you know, on the 17th. So maybe uh, Norm Winsky will give us some ideas. And so will maybe uh, uh, Tim Boss will give us some ideas tomorrow when we have him on. So both of those will we'll keep a, uh, you know, very, very close eye on for sure. We'll be watching it for sure. All right, let's move on here and uh, get on to the next thing I wanted to cover. And I hope I haven't forgotten anything. I had a few things that I wanted to mention to everyone, but I guess I've covered that. Uh, oh, uh, the, the divergence. Someone's asked me about the divergence that, that I was talking about. The main one, of course, folks, was the, uh, the two, two main divergences. First one was the IWM. You'll notice with the IWM, we had a very, very shallow rally here. We had a little bit more of a rally this week, but not much. It didn't get much higher than where we were on Friday by a little bit. Uh, the other one, of course, was the, NAS, uh, the NASDAQ was also making a divergence, uh, making a little bit. It couldn't make a it couldn't make a 78% level retracement. The Dow Jones Industrial was able to make a 78% retracement, uh, and the S&P hit it exactly on the money. And we we talked about that because when it did it, you know, with that SPX, you know, it was uh, you know just absolutely spot on at the 78% level, and it hit it twice. Now. If you like numbers, and I do like numbers, then that's the kind of thing that you're looking for. After we hit that day, you know, we had a big outside day to the downside on Tuesday, and we're, we went 30 handles lower uh, in the S&P. So that's the key to uh, that what we're watching here this morning, if that's the case. But that, that move that we had in June 3rd, coming off that bottom, that fast, eight days, that strong, is very, very powerful. You have to respect that. So any correction here... You want to look for an ABCD correction to be a, a buyer because you still have a strong bias given that that bottom. That's that's very very powerful. Uh, just like the gold, we went above 12, uh, 1352. You have to respect that. Buy that retracement. We tried to buy it yesterday at 1323 or 1322. We missed it by a dollar 20, and uh, so now we have to wait for the next pattern because uh, remember, trading is just like being in medicine, folks. It's exactly like medicine, and if you've ever been to a doctor's office, it says practice of medicine. My uncle used to say, go to the, the, to the doctor that doesn't have that shingle there that says, I've stopped practicing and I've got it right. But the reason why trading in medicine is exactly the same is because you have to have patience. And if you have those, then you have a good thing. And just keep practicing. That's the main thing. All right. Let's uh, talk about, uh, oh, we've got another minute to go, and then we got the show coming up. Remember, we got Tim Boss tomorrow, Norm on Friday, and oh. I let it out of the bag. He's the mystery guest. So we'll have Norm on, and he'll give us some pretty good ideas also of uh, what to look at. We want to uh, talk uh, just a tiny bit about the FANG stocks when we get back from the break because, uh, you know, had, some of them had a pretty good bounce. Some of them have it. But there, there's another one. You know, these these led the market up, folks. They're not leading it up since June 2nd. That June 3rd, that could be, that could be very, very interesting too. So uh, pay close attention to that one. That's uh, another uh, another one that we want to be watching. So we got a break coming up. So if you have any questions, and the lines are full right now, but do, you might be able to sneak in. 877-927-6648. This is Billy Ray Valentine from 100 South Broad Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 
waiting for the music to come on so we can pay some bills for TFNN. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page Page of tfnn.com and sign up today this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com okay we're back folks and we're going to take a look at netflix it's the weakest of all of the fang stocks uh, you notice we got those lower highs in here uh, we had the good bottom come in on June 3rd, nice ABCD, uh, had pretty good support, but uh, we did have a rally. We went from uh, 330 and change all the way up to uh, 360, about a 10% uh, rally. Uh, but look how it's given it back over the since uh, Monday. I mean, this is not this is not good price action, folks. Uh, it's not quite a perfect 135 pattern. The reason for that is you don't have the good ratio set up. Uh, the pattern is pretty close to it, but you'd like to have seen Monday's high a little bit lower, but that's not a perfect setup, but it does look similar, but still not perfect. And we, you know, we're not always going to be perfect, but you find, try to find one that lines up, uh, you know, the best. Okay, so if we keep a close eye on uh, Netflix for one reason, and that reason is if you look down there in January and when we had that big move, when the Dow was down 600 that day and Netflix was up, 
folks, don't ever forget this lesson because when you've got a stock or a commodity, whatever it is, and it's taking the news and just ramming it down your throat, boy, you better be very careful because someone knows a whole lot more than you do, and they're not afraid to buy stuff when the, when the Dow's down 600 points. Look what happened the next day. You know, it gapped up uh, 10 points and never looked back. So I've seen this happen over and over again where it takes really, really bullish news and the market rolls over. That doesn't scare me at all because news follows a trend and that's the way it's supposed to be the patterns is where it's at for me boys and girls walter and i've been dancing with these things for quite a while been able to you know break bread with a lot of you folks which we really love to see and uh, if you ever get to tucson please stop by and uh, we'll uh, introduce you to walter uh he is uh one of the one of the finest burros ever to come out of mexico i bought him at auction so listen to this folks tim bost on thursday Norman the Wizard coming in on Friday. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and we'll see you on the flip side.